Welcome back to another edition of Rudy's Rants. I am Rudy Rodriguez Shomat, your host. Come on now, the podcast. That's where it's at. So if you haven't subscribed yet to Come On Now, the podcast on our YouTube channel, follow, like, and subscribe to us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter. Get on there and do it now. I have a special tonight to discuss a topic I actually hit earlier this week. I ranted about Nick Wright. Nick Wright is a television personality on Fox Sports, TV show First Things First. And I use the term television personality because he is not a journalist. And his actions have proven that he is not a journalist. Although he did graduate from Syracuse, I believe, with a journalism degree. And he did write for many, many years. It is when I made my rant earlier this week about him and his comments about Michael Jordan and the nineties basketball and the way he always seems to find a way to diminish the accomplishments of Michael Jordan because he's nonstop shilling for LeBron James all the time. I made that rant, not knowing something. And I want to give a thank you to dreamers pro. That's a great podcast that I watch a whole lot because As I was editing last night, I was doing some research on on Nick Wright, and I found out that Nick Wright, a journalist, is signed to Clutch Sports. I found that out watching Dreamers Pro's podcast. I didn't realize that. I wish I had known that because if I had, I would have been hitting on that in my rant earlier this week. So now I'm coming back around because I'm doubling down here because I actually am a graduate of Florida International University and I have a degree in print journalism. So journalism is very, very serious to me and it's a serious topic and very touchy because so many times now people call themselves journalists. They are not. I have no problem with podcasts and those individuals not being journalists, but when you are speaking about topics, one of the most important things to talk about are facts. And it gets real frustrating hearing opinions of people that don't use data to back up their facts. Nick Wright has this, has become this big cheerleader, pom-pom carrier for LeBron James. And it makes sense now because Nick Wright has no credibility. He has no journalistic, journalistic integrity. He has no character. He is a PR salesman for Clutch Sports. He is signed to Clutch Sports. So first I saw it on Dreamers Pro, and then I actually saw it on Colin Coward's podcast. I also saw it on Doug Gottlieb. Doug Gottlieb said it. Doug Gottlieb, for people that don't know, is a Fox Sports analyst as well. And whether he likes Nick Wright or not, he stated a fact. And Nick Wright confirmed all of that. When he said on Colin Coward's podcast last year, which I had not seen, so I didn't know, Draymond Green and I are both clutch clients. You're a clutch client and you're on TV talking about basketball? Talking about the guy who basically founded clutch sports? Yes, Rich Paul founded clutch sports. Let's be real. LeBron James is the reason Clutch Sports exists. To say anything else would be dis- would be disingenuous. I give LeBron James so much credit. Yeah, there's t- I, I I bash him plenty because I think he's not really truly genuine in certain in certain areas. He likes to control the narrative, and this is an example of how he does it. He does it by basically owning the media members. He is a puppet master, and Nick Wright is one of his puppets. He's a puppet. And LeBron is the puppet master. He's the puppet master over various guys on uh, on ESPN and Fox. So Nick Wright being on Fox. Brian Windhorst on ESPN. Kendrick Perkins on ESPN. Now J.J. Redick on ESPN. 
with his new podcast with LeBron. You think these things are coincidental? You think these things are by accident? They're done to control a narrative. And if you notice that none of these guys, at least almost never, say a negative word about LeBron James, all of them view him as the GOAT, and they push this and push this and push this. So for many, many years, there's been rumors that his team kind of like pushes people to speak about him in a positive way, pushes media members to speak in a positive way. This this basically confirms it. <clears throat> At the very least, J.J. Redick and Kendrick Perkins and Brian Windhorst and, and uh, there's a couple of other, Richard Jefferson. I, they, they're not, I don't believe they're signed to clutch sports the way uh, Nick Wright is, but, you know, so, but Nick Wright is the, I mean, Windhorst is a journalist as well, but Nick Wright's a journalist. And part of being a journalist is integrity and ethics and, and, and having integrity with what you write that people will believe it because you're objective in your approach and in your reporting. If you're not objective, no one will believe you. LeBron James is one of the greatest players of all time. Whether you have him number one, two, three, four, five, or whatever, that's your opinion. I don't care. Do I think Michael Jordan is the greatest player of all time? Yes. I saw his generation. I saw Larry Bird's generation. I saw Magic Johnson. I saw Kobe. I saw, I've seen LeBron. I've seen Steph. I've seen all these generations of basketball. The game has changed. It's inflated statistics to where statistics are no longer really valuable, in my opinion. A guy who's averaging 27, 7, and 7 right now would have averaged 25 and 5 20 years ago. That's a fact. Scoring is up at a level that's never been seen before. And that is the data in which Dick Wright will utilize to say that LeBron is the best player in the game and is the GOAT. He's the GOAT. He's got, Nick Wright brought up this story about having, you know, the, the peak year of LeBron is better than the peak year of Jordan. Bullshit it is. LeBron James, Michael Jordan has four seasons that are better than LeBron's best season. Be, be genuine. Be real. Be authentic. But you're not. You're a puppet. The puppet master has you by the strings. And you embarrass, you embarrass real journalists who went to school, who have integrity about what they say and what they write. How can anyone believe what you think? How can anyone believe any of it? Because in 2011, in 2011, May 27, 2011 to be exact, Nick Wright tweeted out in regards to the MJ LeBron debate. There is no debate. MJ is the greatest player ever. L L LBJ is not yet in the top 10. He could be in it. It could change in a decade, though. What could change? That he's in the top 10? I guess it could, right? That's in 2011. And by 2016, Nick Wright was freaking bowing to his king and calling LeBron the GOAT. Mind you, in 11, the Heat lost to the Mavericks. I'm a Heat fan, as you can see. He lost to the Mavericks, and LeBron James had the worst finals of any NBA superstar in my lifetime. In my lifetime. And you're going to sit here and tell me that that guy is the GOAT five years later? What about your tweet? What about it? It is comical to me. So in, the, in that five-year stretch, he lost, won, won, lost. He went two and two, then lost again. He was two and three. Then he finally beats the Warriors, and we know why that happened in reality. Give him credit. Although he had a guy who dropped 40, Kyrie Irving next to him in game six. And Kyrie Irving won the game in game seven. These are facts. LeBron James is one of the most brilliant basketball players I've ever seen. His mind, his IQ on the court is unbelievable. It's the greatest of the last 20 years. Easily. Easily. But as a journalist, your job, your job, it's your duty to report objectively. 
You are not an objective observer, Nick Wright. You are paid and bought. Your contract was negotiated by the agent of LeBron James, the guy who owns, who's the reason that Clutch Sports exists. LeBron James is a great dude when it comes to his boys. He's brought them all with him, and I give him mad props for that. Great credit. We should all be so lucky to have a friend like that. Because if it wasn't for LeBron James meeting Rich Paul when they were 19, 20 years old or whatever it was, when Rich Paul, from what I had read, was selling jerseys at the back of his trunk of his car, would Rich Paul be one of the most influential agents in professional sports, if not the most influential agent in basketball? Fuck no. Because, yeah, he may have worked very, very hard, but working very, very hard and getting to that goal It's not always about how hard you work. It's about who you know at the right time, at the right place. I wrote for 17 years for the Miami Herald, for the Sun Sentinel. I've helped found inside the U.com, a U.M. website. That initially we started under ESPN. I wrote for various newspapers freelancing while also maintaining a full-time job the entire time. And also for Kane's time and Florida kids and various other rivals and Scott.com and and so forth. My dream was to be on ESPN. Absolutely. Absolutely. But let's keep it a buck. My dream didn't happen. I'm happy to be doing a podcast with my boys now. And I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. I I take great, great pleasure because I get to talk about stuff that I enjoy and that I love doing. But I do it from a perspective of objectivity. I don't do it subjectively. I admit, I admit, I do not like LeBron James's persona publicly. I think it controls the narrative. And this proves it. This absolutely proves it. You have a guy on TV every single day pushing a narrative of how great LeBron is. He is great. No question. No question he's great. But let's keep it a buck. While LeBron may not have to call these guys and tell them to say stuff about him, they know. They absolutely know the deal. You cannot bash that man. You cannot criticize him. There are very few people who criticize him. In fact, the one who does is Stephen A. Smith. Because you know what? At least for the most part, I can say that Stephen A. Smith is not bought and paid for. Because that man has no problem giving his opinion. But for the vast majority of these guys who cover basketball for ESPN, they are all puppets on a string. J.J. Redick is the newest one, conveniently with a podcast with LeBron while he's now <clears throat> still, in the, still playing basketball. And this man is the number one analyst for ABC and ESPN, and he's on television speaking about LeBron James. He'll never criticize LeBron James. He's in business with him. He's going to make a fuckload of money with him. Let's be real. So Nick Wright, you are, man, you are, you are outed. And I don't, I mean, you've been outed. It seems, it seems I'm shocked that Fox has you employed. It's embarrassing. It's a massive conflict of interest for a journalist to be, be represented by the same people who represent the people you're talking about. You're being represented by the same company. And now it all makes sense why you've been saying outlandish shit for the last eight years. When only 13 years ago, he wasn't in the top 10. Nick Wright, you're a fraud. You're a phony. You embarrass the journalism fucking world. You embarrass the true journalists that exist, that write and grind and, and do the work that's supposed to be done. You may have been one at one point, but you're not anymore. That's all I got. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, share it with your friends. Keep it a buck, man. You're not a journalist. And the fact that you cap as one is bullshit. You're a fucking puppet. You're a puppet. And LeBron is pulling your strings. Peace out. Come on now. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. 
please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel. Thank you.